can you say about a family that has back-to-back -back sons going in the NBA draft at four and five? Well, it just shows, it, it talks about discipline, it talks about accountability. When you've got two kids that want to be, that want to play the game of basketball, and the effort and the discipline and, and the consistency that's required in order for them to elevate themselves to that point. When you have a family that's in place, that makes sure that you're going to do the things that you need to do, this is what comes of it. Either of them could have gone the wrong way, but it didn't happen because you see why. Their family's in attendance with them. They're there to support them, and they're there to hold them accountable. And obviously, they're accountable to one another because they compete against one another, and they hold each other accountable in that way because as siblings, you know you never want the sibling to be better than you. You always want to be better than them. And then you push each other, and here's the Asar highlight. One thing that's different between him and Amen, Asar, more of a comfortable scorer, better shooter naturally off the ball. That's important because the Detroit Pistons really, really need that. Let's just call it what it is. Cade Cunningham only played about 12 games this year. Obviously, he was injured. Uh, obviously, Jaden Ivey balled. Jalen Duran's got a lot of promises of big, playing just less than 25 minutes, still averaged 8-8. Eight and eight. Look out for him in the future. But they definitely needed somebody else who was athletic, who was willing to play some defense but could shoot and they got that in this kid right here thanks for watching espn on youtube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to espn plus